What's up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey Canning. I run a web design and digital marketing studio based out of Boulder, Colorado called Inbound Web Development, where we work exclusively with architecture firms to help them generate inbound project leads, sign their ideal clients, and ultimately grow revenues. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at three examples of amazing architecture firm websites. This is gonna be especially helpful if your firm is considering redesigning its website, not only to show you what's possible online today when it comes to design, but also to show you how you can take a strategic marketing approach to designing the website to ensure that it is gonna be able to produce business results for your firm. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to stick around for the full video. But before we get to that, make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel as well, because I'll be putting out weekly videos all about how to grow your architecture firm with digital marketing. All right, so the first example we have here is from a firm out of New England called Woodhull. And this is a really good example of what just a very simple, minimalist, modern approach to web design looks like, but it's also just well thought out from a marketing perspective, giving people all the information they need to know to reach out about a potential project. So right away, they go right to the point by saying their main value proposition, design-driven homes and commercial spaces built for life. And then you see that we are an integrated architecture, construction, and millwork firm delivering thoughtful and enduring residential and commercial projects throughout New England. So basically, you can see right away the exact services they offer, the types of clients they work with, both residential and commercial, and where they're based out in New England. And they also talk about how they're an award-winning firm, so they introduce social proof right after that. So this is just an example, like I said, of a very clean, well-designed website, but it does have some nice bells and whistles. For example, there is this, they've got a lot of sliders, as you can see. So basically, this just adds a very nice, interactive, engaging feel to the website that complements well on this very simplistic look. I do also like how they have this approach page. So basically just highlighting their design process. This is very important in my view because clients want to know what they can expect when working with you. And so if you don't answer those questions right away, then they're going to have just more questions in their mind. And then the more questions they have, the less likely they are to ultimately reach out to you through your website about a potential project. On the portfolio, again, they keep things very simple, which is a nice grid look. Nice little subtle features in terms of like hover. And then you can also like filter example by either the project type or the services offered. So people can find the exact type of project they're interested in seeing. They use a very, you know, just straightforward photo gallery. But again, I do like how they include some information. They do just keep it a little bit more different. So this is like a little bit more of a less standard grid design than you'd probably be used to seeing on websites. And then they have more projects as well. And then a call to action at the end. I would have probably done a little bit more creative of an approach to this call to action. I think it's a little bland. It doesn't really stand out. Finally, I do like how on the contact page, they keep it very nice and simple so people know, fill out this form and you can get in touch with us right away about a potential project. The next website we're gonna take a look at comes from Signum Architecture. They're based out of Northern California. And this is a really good example of what a much more creative looking website can look like. One that features very cool animations and hover effects and interactions, but also they're still doing the basics right from a marketing standpoint in terms of introducing the company's main value proposition and introducing the types of projects they work on to where they do a very good job of balancing creative design with while staying true to conventions just to give people the content that they're looking for. As you can see here, testimonials and areas of expertise, etc. One thing, and again, they really do continue on with this really cool uh, menu where if you hover, you get different photos popping up in the background. One thing I would change though is I would have gotten with a little bit more of a conventional naming for the menu. So for example, gallery here is their portfolio, which is very cool. I love how you can, you know, go right there and just filter by the categories you're interested in. But I would just name this like projects or our work or our portfolio just to keep it in line with industry conventions. But otherwise, this is a really good job of, again, just presenting this in a very creative, visual way. And when you're looking at this website as a potential client, I think it's very clear that these people know good design and that if you hire them, they're going to do a really, really good job creating something very innovative for you. And on that note, they do a very good job of just introducing the firm here. And I like how on this about page, they really do kind of have like a timeline of, you know, the firm's evolution. And they also have a really cool section here talking again, just about kind of some of their um, core values when it comes to design. The one thing I probably would have tried to improve 
had I been the person working with them on this project, is I would have kept the form a little bit more simple because I think right here is one, there's not really a whole lot of options other than people typing in a message. The next example we'll see has a much uh, more robust contact form for people to quickly submit um, a project inquiry based on what they're looking for. Yeah, I would just kept this a little bit more clear. It's not super clear with like the underlines for the form fields. The first time I looked at this, I was just a little confused. We really don't want to confuse people because if we confuse, we lose. And if we lose their attention, then they're probably going to go to a competitor's website. But otherwise, I think this is really, really well done. All right, so this last website comes from an architecture firm called AM Arc, and they are based out in Europe. And this is a really good example of what a much more, let's say, visually interactive website could be, similar to the last one we looked at. This is a great example, this hero section of, you know, you see lots of architecture firm websites where they just have like a very simple photo and text overlay. Here though, you can kind of achieve that same simplistic look while making things much more engaging and higher end by implementing a video background like they've done here. And then as soon as you scroll in, this website also stands out because they're using like a unique dark mode in most cases. Like they'll have like a solid black background instead of a solid white background that most websites feature. And this just does a really good job of helping the firm stand out instantly and being much more memorable later on. They're also doing, again, cool little hover effects. One thing I really liked about this website is that they have a lot of these interactive project features where you can essentially just pan around and view the project space as if you're actually standing there. And yeah, so you see this on a lot of different like realtor type websites, a lot of real estate websites, but you don't see this too much in the architecture industry. However, I think it's a real no brainer to implement this if you have the capabilities to do so. And it seems like there is also some sort of AR or VR headset functionality, which is really, really cool. And yeah, so again, here, again, they have much more like cool interactions. The one thing I will say is, well, this is, again, they talk about their process, send us a brief, we'll be in touch, and then you'll get your results. I do like this, but it does kind of seem a little bit more, I don't know, it is so creative, but maybe it seems so creative in a way where it doesn't exactly seem like I'm interacting with an architecture firm's website. I think they're kind of trying to play into like more of like the rendering and modeling services they offer. But I don't know, it seems like I'm kind of like a web designer's website or some sort of digital marketing studio's website. So that's the only, you know, critique I guess I would have. Otherwise, I really like the animations they have. I really like how they do a good job of just simply highlighting their services. And this is a really good example of what a website could look like when you kind of just stand out and go for a little bit more of a modern minimalist type feel. All right, and so there you have it. Those are three examples of excellent architecture firm websites, both from a design standpoint as well as a marketing standpoint. If you can design a website anywhere close to those three websites that we looked at for your firm, then you're going to be having a lot of people reaching out for potential projects on a consistent basis. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about me and my company, definitely go to our website, inboundwebdevelopment.com. There you can learn all about us, including checking out some interesting case studies of various architecture firms we've been working with to help them generate anywhere between 10 to 20 project leads per month. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.